she didn't give explanations. She just did it. Well, I'm from a real large family from Mississippi. What we do, we kill chicken, rain in it. And when you kill the chicken, we have hot water. We dip them off in the water. As you pick the feathers off, and be a lot of little fine feathers on them. So we build a fire, or some shucks off a corn, and burn the feathers off them. That's why you see me burning hair and hold up, just like you do chicken. It burn the feathers off a chicken the same way I got the idea of burning hair. And if I burning hair, it took me all over the world. I came to Memphis 3rd of December 1951. And I walked in the barber shop and they uh, asked him, did he have an extra barber chair? He said, yeah, I have a chair. Can you cut hair? Yeah. And I, I started from there. I used to have to cut hair by numbers. I cut 50 hairs a day. 50 hairs a day means $25. But I found out in life, your attitude determines your attitude. Just think about the attitude. You know, the attitude makes a whole lot of difference. A lot of people think it's a lot of barbers and things can cut hair as good as I can on a one-to-one -one basis. But you, it's, it's more than just cutting hair. I can have two barbers. <laughs> one of them real good. One of them have a real nice attitude. The one good, the one have the best attitude, nice attitude, have more cussing than the one that's good. All right. That didn't hurt, did it? Not at all. Yay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Back in 1596, in, in David Ruffin with Temptation, all them guys didn't have no money to get the hair cut. So I cut the hair. And all everybody associated with Stacks, Hank Crawford, and all the guys like that. And, you know, Barcade, Otis Reddit. After they get the recording, they all, all of them would be at my barbershop. All of them. They come up there after they go out to a party or dance and get to recording, they be at the bob shop. Shop before one morning, I had so many people from Stacks and everywhere in the shop. The police all over the place. I said, what's wrong? They said, we had so many people up here, we had to check it out. Keep it for me, not you. Because I'm going to help them after a while. <laughs> Barber shop is, a, is, a, is an information center, really. Barber shop is a complete information center. Uh, you can find out anything you want to, you just listen. That's how I learned what I learned out here in this jungle. I said, oh, you, see, you know I'm a people person, don't you, man? <laughs> Bank robbery, anything. You can find out anything you want to do. All I got, all I got to do is just listen. Been long Maybe enough. 20. It's been a while. A long time. I came in the organization when I organized the Black Knights organization. They flew people in from all over the world to talk to me. I guess he thought I was going to tell things. But my job is to help, not to hurt. I got started the youth service. Every day I have a group of kids working. Take that money, 30, 40, 50 dollars, what I had, and buy it among them. That way I kept them out of trouble. I'm not supposed to be in the barber shop. I'm supposed to be behind the liquor store according to the statistic, with all those kids didn't have anything at all. I want the kids to remember that you don't have to get out there and do all these crazy things that they are doing. I got everything I've done, and everything I'm doing is, is to show them that you can rise above that. Can't nothing, can't nothing but something good come out of this. Can't nothing but something good come out of this. <laughs> had not been any changes in Memphis since I've been here. Only thing I had to do is change me. Take care of myself. If I get myself right, then I can get some help from somebody else. You got to change yourself. <laughs> I'm cooking it. After all this time, I've been cooking here 65 years. I'm not going to cut hair but 20 more years, 65 and 20. If I live my life over again, I'd be another barber. I really would. The only thing I'd have is a lunch hour and a vacation. I hadn't been off in 65 years. I was at the rodeo not long ago, this past year, and uh, I went down at the rodeo. They wouldn't let me ride that big bull because they thought I might hurt him. 
<laughs> I, 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 I have a full life. I have a full life. He said, they ain't never seen nothing like that, what I be doing. Really? Yeah. They, they cut hair over there? No, 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 not the kind of stuff I be doing. Oh, really? Yeah, he, he, he ain't never seen nothing like that before. I know people out there have haircuts over there. Yeah, but not burning. 